hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be ranking my top five zerge of fragrances so zerge of is one of my favorite uh, fragrance it's from italy and they make very uh, high quality luxurious fragrances so there won't be any uh, fresh fragrances in this list uh, most of my uh, favorites are like uh, heavy hitters like rose and uh, other gourmet fragrances so let's start with uh, number five number five we have a gourmet fragrance from the kasamarati range and it's uh, lira so this is a citrus gourmet uh, and it's perfectly unisex both uh, men and women can rock this if you like fragrances with uh, citrus with the gourmet facets including caramel vanilla it, this smells like an uh, orange biscuit to my nose although it smells good the performance is uh, kind of average i heard that the older batches used to perform uh, like very well maybe 8 to 10 hours but i don't get that performance with uh, the newer batches so that's my only uh, disappointment with lira and uh, the other fragrances that falls in the same category i can say would be uh, uh, lemon tart from Theodros Kalotinis. We have unknown pleasures from kerosene. So if you like the idea of uh, uh, citrusy gourmands, you can give Lyra a try. So this has more of a caramel note as well uh, that makes it different from other citrus gourmands. So it starts off very uh, like a fresh with lemon and kind of a toffee accord. You get that uh, biscuit vibe, uh, like a ginger cream biscuit. So. You can give it a try. It's uh, one of my uh, favorite gourmands from Zerjov. And on number four, <clears throat> this fragrance is the most popular fragrance from Zerjov. But it's not my favorite. And the reason is the performance. I only have a 10 ml decant. And uh, I kind of get why this is so popular. And this is one of the most sold niche fragrances. And I, I think the main reason is that uh, this is very easy to like. Although this is a tobacco fragrance, it is well blended. It uh, smells very uh, smooth, luxurious. And it smells uh, similar to the uh, Pure Havan from Thierry Mugler. But uh, Thierry Mugler is like more... Uh, it has more of the patchouli note that makes it uh, more complex, I believe, and a little bit of challenging. Not that challenging, but compared to the Pure Havan, Naxos is very smooth. So that's why this is so po popular in the niche fragrance and among the frag heads. Uh, some people say that this is a masterpiece, but I don't know why, because I smelled uh, this uh, fragrance late in my journey. And I have smelled many tobacco fragrances so this fragrance did not wow me like i uh, expected uh, i i prefer amouage royal tobacco any day over zerge of naxos so i uh, i get why this is so popular and so loud because this is very easy to like and those who are like uh, just uh, transitioning from designer to the niche world i would suggest them to get zerge of naxos but the only bummer is the performance uh, i heard this is a beast mode scent but maybe because this is a new batch, you, you can see even the juice color is uh, it's not that dark. And I have seen Zerge of bottles uh, with uh, dark colored juice. And I believe this fragrance will uh, macerate over time and the juice color would get darker and maybe the performance would improve. But if you're spending like $200 on a fragrance, then you would expect the fragrance to perform immediately. You don't have to wait for the uh, fragrance to become matured and then increase the performance. So that's the only downside I see with Surge of Naxos. Uh, it's one of the good tobacco scents, but uh, I'm not like blown away and I won't like say this is a masterpiece like many people say. I don't get that. In the And this can be used in summer as well. This has like citrus, lavender opening and then there's a beautiful honey note. So it's not a bad fragrance by any means. I get why this is so popular and loud. So it's in number four uh, in my list. On number three, this is my absolute favorite delicious gourmet fragrance for winter. And this is Italica from the Casamorati range. And uh, this is also perfectly unisex. It has a beautiful uh, toffee note. 
that makes it very delicious in the air and many people do the mistake of uh, spraying it on their arm sniffing it and in up close this doesn't smell like this has that almond note that kinds of uh, gives it a very uh, up close it, you can maybe smell a very green uh, kind of a smell that won't be pleasing to the nose but don't smell this fragrance on your skin in the air that's where this fragrance does this magic wow this is such an incredible delicious gourmet fragrance it's one of my number one not one of my number one it's my absolute number one delicious common fragrance italica uh, i can't praise this enough it's an absolute uh, delight if you haven't tried this just uh, get a sample or a decan before going for before going for the full bottle it's one of my absolute favorite amazing gourmet and on number 2 and number 1 these are my, the best of the best and number 1 and number 2 are like uh, it's, it was hard to decide for me because both of them are amazing fragrance and both of them are created by chris morris so number 2 i have put i think this is also uh, many people's favorite like uh, those who know about this scent they know about it they absolutely love it love and cherish it this is alexandria 2 from search of and this is uh, a rose and oud fragrance but it's unlike any other rose oud fragrance that you have smelled it's very hard to describe it has the middle eastern vibe but it's not the usual like uh, what you say uh, the jammy rose kind of a fragrance that's not it this is very different this has a very uh, dry uh, a dry accord like a dry vanilla rose oud smells very high class Wow, it's it's powdery, a bit of uh, powdery nuance is there, and the oud and the woody notes they are blended like it's not like other like fragrance like maybe you can say oud satin mood that and all I feel like I have smelled hundreds of fragrance like oud satin mood. If you uh, if you have been in uh, Middle East because I lived in Dubai for like three four years, so there are like many Middle Eastern fragrances that do rose oud, but if you want something that smell. nothing like the rosewoods that you have smelled before you should try uh, alexandria 2 from search of one of the best offering from search of amazing scent and number 1 is the rockstar fragrance and this is my latest acquisition and i just love it absolutely this is uh, tony yomi monkey special named after the rockstar tony yomi so this fragrance is a patchouli bomb so you have to like patchouli fragrance this has notes of passion fruit leather vanilla sandalwood patchouli patchouli is one of the main key player in tony yomi this will be an absolute uh, banger for the winter season wow the uh, patchouli note is in itself is an aphrodisiac so you should like that kind of fragrances and that has that uh, bit of a dirty vibe but that's so sexy and tony yomi is an absolute amazing masterpiece and uh, the performance is solid i i was lucky enough to grab a 50 ml bottle for like 135 dollars or something from a canadian website this goes for like 200 plus dollars if you go for retail a 50 ml will cost you 200 plus dollars but this is an absolute masterpiece for me i'll cherish this scent and uh, i was actually uh, planning to buy another winter fragrance uh, which i had a decant of that was called hypnotizing fire from harmonist so that fragrance and this fragrance i get a lot of similarity because that that fragrance is also uh, rose leather patchouli uh, notes and uh, has the same kind of similar vibe to tony yomi monkey special so i don't uh, need hypnotizing fire anymore now i have uh, tony yomi this is the bad boy leather jacket kind of fragrance it's a very amazing sexy fr- fragrance from zerjoff and the perfumer is the same as alexandria too it's uh, from chris morris so just try it out get a decant and if you like it you can go for the full bottle it's an am- amazing absolutely amazing masterpiece from zerjoff and my number one favorite tony yomi monkey special okay that's it guys and that's my ranking for my zerjoff fragrances i haven't included many uh, like freshies uh from zerge of like neo uh, torino 21 torino 22 uh, i'm not that uh, a big fan of uh, like those kind of fragrances uh, i feel like uh, when you're paying uh, 200 dollars for fragrances you should get uh, i usually buy for something that gives me uh, like a like a complex kind of experience not a simple mint or 
uh, freshy kind of experience. So I can't justify paying like two hundred dollars for uh, uh, like a uh, citrus fragrance. Uh, recently, I had liked the gin gin tonic from Mikalev. That was also a fantastic fragrance, but I can't justify paying like more, uh, more than one fifty or dollars or so for a fresh fragrance, and that to last like five six hours. So these fragrances I have mentioned, uh, apart from Lyra and Naxos, the rest three are total bangers. Naxos is also good, but I said I am not getting the kind of performance. If it had uh, the performance that people are talking about, it would have. I would have like. Uh, purchased a bottle of Naxos but right now I'm not going to I'm happy with the decant so that's it guys uh, let me know what are your search of fragrance and also I want to mention one more fragrance that is I tried and I loved it it's 40 knots that's also very good fragrance and it has similarity to Christian Dior's Ambre Nui I believe that that fragrance is also yeah like you can wear in summer and winter it's very rich and luxurious fragrance I don't own a bottle of that fragrance yet so these are my top five zerge of and let me know your thoughts and your favorite zerge of fragrances. See you then. See you. Bye bye.